Hey everyone, it's uh, Russell with uh, Disney Buys AMC, and I'm here at Costco to try and you know show you how a dollar fifty uh, hot dog and Pepsi combo at Costco is another reason why Disney should buy AMC. Okay, so you may be out there saying, Russ, we've enjoyed your videos, but come on, man. What does a hot dog from Costco have to do with Disney buying AMC? Well, here's, I'll explain that. But first, just in case you're not a Costco member or you don't know much about Costco, it costs like a hundred bucks a year to be a Costco member and shop there. And they have deals on gas and other things. And, you know, hopefully that pays off, you know, over the year. But one of the great deals they have is they have a hot dog, quarter pound hot dog and a soft drink for $1.50. I mean, that's a, that's a great deal. And they're proud of this. It's not like some hidden thing. You know, it's prominently displayed when you walk in there. Now, during the pandemic, um, my my two kids, you know, they they didn't they closed the schools and they were doing remote schools and they were young, so either me or my wife had to sit with them to do school, and it turned out for our situation it was better that I left my job and I sat with them during the day, but then at night and on the weekends I worked for Instacart delivering groceries, and what I quickly learned was for me Costco was the best place to go. Because the worst thing when you're doing Instacart is the shopper wants something and they're out of stock, right? And at Costco, they had so much stock on items, just pallets of stuff, that it would, rarely that was an issue. So you could go in, do your shopping, and deliver it. And the less time it took you to deliver that order, that's the more money you got to keep because you got to do more orders in the day. Now, inevitably, you know, I'd have to get some lunch at some point, right? Well, you don't make much money working for Instacart, as you can imagine, right? So it's not like I could exactly go to Ruth Chris Steakhouse for lunch. And I'll be honest with you, man, when you're not, when you're making the kind of money you make at Instacart, McDonald's is kind of expensive too, you know? You just made, uh, you know, 10, 15, 20 bucks, you go to have lunch at McDonald's, you know, and McDonald's has gotten expensive for McDonald's, right? You know, you, you just give that money right back buying your lunch. However, at Costco, they had this $1.50 hot dog meal. And the best part was I could just, after I check out with the client's order, I could stop, get a hot dog and a drink, and I could eat it on the road. So I didn't even lose time for lunch, right? So I ate a lot of these hot dogs, uh, probably too many, quite frankly. Um, but you have to wonder, how much does Costco lose selling these hot dogs and drinks for $1.50, right? In fact, you know, Hey, I'm not gonna, you know, try to kick anybody, you know, while they're down. But you know, there's a CEO probably looking for a job. Maybe go work for Costco, and maybe the answer is we're gonna raise prices and make more money, right? These these dollar fifty hot dogs, bang, five dollars, and we're we're making so much more money now, aren't we? Aren't we proud of ourselves? Well, he'd probably get fired again, right? Because the truth is, when you go to Costco, and listen, I do my DD, I search this on Google for about half a second. The average uh spent on a costco trip is 114 dollars so that co that hot dog it, it doesn't actually it's not a dollar fifty it's more like you know 111 dollars and 50 cents that they that's how they make their money you know it's a lost leader that's no secret it makes you want to shop there it makes you feel good and, and to come in and you buy other stuff well that's what these you know amc disney centers would be you know still showing these movies and it's a way to get people onto a disney property and start selling them remember what i said he gets on base he gets on base watch moneyball or just watch that scene on google he gets on base you get him in that disney center now they're buying food you know they're buying disney food they're shopping at the disney store you can tell them all about disney plus if they don't already know it and maybe They'll sign up for Disney Plus. Maybe they'll sign up for that Disney credit card or better yet, the Disney membership like Costco or like Amazon Prime where you can get discounts on movies and food and start earning points, right? You can set up the Disney Vacation Club kiosk there so people can start. Maybe they can actually plan that Disney vacation. They, they can go to a park or cruise. So all these people that talk about like, well, here's why this can't happen because AMC is dead or the movie business is a dying business or AMC loses money. Guys, gals, think big. How big? How about we double Disney for starters, right? Listen, we have two major theme parks. Quit raising the prices. Quit nickel and diming people at these two places. Go to work. Be bold. Be audacious. Yes, I know it's expensive, but does it make sense?
build these Disney centers all over the United States. Not even build them, convert AMCs into them. You know, there's this joke in politics, the vision thing. You know, does this politician have the vision thing? Well, being a visionary, that's a true thing. And Walt Disney, he had the vision thing. And even Michael Eisner, when he took over at Disney in 1984 and, and grew that company and expanded it so much, he had the vision thing. And Bob Iger, when he acquired all those other properties, Pixar, Marvel, Star Wars, 20th Century Fox, he had a vision thing. You know, Bob Chapek, I'm not, again, I don't want to kick somebody while they're down, but you have to wonder, did he have the vision thing? I don't know. Maybe not, right? And now Bob Iger's back for a second go around. Is he? What's his vision now? You, you, you saw the reports. Oh, he's going to sell Disney to uh, Apple. Okay. I don't know if that's quite a vision thing. And I don't know how I feel about Disney in the hands of Apple. Apple seems like a very cold company to me. Is it a good move? Would it be a better move? I guess. I'm not an expert on that. I don't know. Um, but it doesn't really, no one's really asking me to be honest with you. But I wonder, does Bob Iger, does he have the vision thing to bring Disney to the people, to double Disney, to don't just keep nickel and diming the customers that you have, the rich elite customers that you have that can afford to go to these parks, go to the, these cruises, go out and bring Disney to the people. And if you support that, if you support the hashtag Disney buys AMC, you know, watch this next video, hit the subscribe button, share these videos. I appreciate it. Thank you everyone for watching.